This is the way it works. Explorers, we're in Derbyshire and we've got an old cottage to show you. Look at the old the path, the sectional tile path. So, this video was filmed in England in the county of Derbyshire. We're at the Ambergate Wireworks, which opened in the early 1800s. It closed in 1985. It's near the River Derwent, look. And we're concentrating on the building that's got the red rectangle over it. Lost them two <laughs> already. All fireplaces have been torn out, someone's stolen them. It's all been on fire, unfortunately. But you can see where the staircase used to be. And up above. We're going on to the white works now. Let's go. Cheers, Dave. Stand on chairs, kids. Dave's just pointed out we're in this factory. There's actually there's actually an inspection pit there where that door is. That'll be a good meter or so deep. So don't stand on that bit. Yeah, look at that. You'll sink quickly and deeply if you go in there or there. Or there. Check that, check that out. I don't usually do graffiti, but that is fantastic. It's the old, uh, is it BBC that used that, or was it Channel? One of them used that, that actual test card. That's pretty good, I like, I like this sort of thing. Because this is just an old factory wall, it's not like a, a military histor historic site. So what you got there, Dave? There's a trendy there. I think that's part of your old uh, starter, by the looks of it. Your motor starter? Yeah, st star delta. See, so that'll be part of your motor thermal protection. And there, there would have been part of your three poles, and then there would have been the switch gear on there. And there is your controls fuse. Test card. And Sonic the Hedgehog's over there. Oh, look at the old electrics up there. That's really cool, that. There's your three phases and then your link for your neutral. And there. And there's a big hole down there. that fall down that. See how deep, how long that goes down there. Oh, kill light switches. And the fuseways someone's ripped out, probably metal thieves. These old light switches lock. The electrics up there. It's all been pulled to bits. As the metal thieves have been in. Yeah, people of the 90s will remember Sonic the Hedgehog. He's just there, look, on the wall.
Oh, that is good. Look at that. That's right up your street, isn't it? Civil trespass. That. He's got a bigger lens than me. <laughs> I can't comprehend how they can do that with aerosol paint. I mean, that is impressive. So, whoever this uh, Perse is, is, is good. Or she, because I'm not sexist. I mean, this used to be a plant area. So it's got the culverts in the floor for the cabling. There's a big culvert there, a big hole there, all the way around. There's a big uh, switch gear over there. Central battery system there for the emergency lighting day. If I find any big holes, I'll let you know. I think there's one there. There is one there. Yeah. It's all blended in. Well, that blue thing there, that's a central battery system for the emergency lighting. So I don't know what I'm standing on. Let's get on there. They're all the wafers out of a transformer. So they'll be a stripped out transformer. Oh, here we are. <laughs> here. Now that, this here, that is a power factor correction unit. And what that did was, it had three big capacitors in it. One for each phase, because there's three phases of electricity. And each capacitor, um, it corrected the lag that was created by inductive loads such as electric motors, fluorescent lighting. It, it caused a, uh, an inductance and it pulled the electricity, actually altered the waveform. Uh, and the power stations didn't like this because they had to correct it on their end. Um, so they used, to, they used to fine companies. So what companies did to stop it was they used to put this in and all the, all the electricity used to go through this and it, it, and it corrected the waveform. If I can find some pictures of it, some diagrams, I'll put them up now. Um, but that was a power factor correction unit and they were full of copper. In between each of them wafers, these, these, in between each of them there would have been a bit of copper and they pulled them all out. Someone's, you know, been and stole it all. Got a Pac-Man up there. Can you even see? Can you see up there where it says danger? Both the white balances. Just turn the lock off one sec. So focus on that and brighten it up. So it says danger. Let's say it. it. Says it all the way along. That's kind of cool. Quite retro. It says it up there as well. Look. Um, we've got an inspection pit there. That is an old loading bay for lorries, the back of lorry in there and unload and load. Black Panther. Right, this is for my little boy. Um, if any of you out there know of a SpongeBob SquarePants or Minecraft graffiti, can you leave a comment below? Um, and I'll go look at it. The coal on the floor. Just been surmising because this used to be a wireworks. Looks like there's a gantry crane at this side and a gantry crane at that side. So yeah. Agreed. One possible solution we've come up with is uh, like double doors there, where you could back wagons in to deliver the wire, stack it up down here with the crane move it onto production, which would be getting drawn through the wire drawing machinery, and then back round there, and then you'd have the finished product come out at this side, and then you could stack it up uh, until you needed to load it to transport it off to where it was going. So mm. the whole production was in a U shape. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, or they just had two full plants, two full lines maybe. Two full lines, but you know, why have two gantry cranes? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I've no idea. 
But yeah, that makes a lot of sense having a gantry crane, that's what that central pillar is. Because yeah. there's no access up there for people, yeah. is there? It's the danger signage. Danger signage for the gantry crane. They used to have open bus bars. Yeah, they did. So, mm. yeah. yeah, all the electrics for it's been stripped out. They probably took the gantry cranes away and oh, yeah. sold them, reused them somewhere. Yeah. See, they look like steel drums that have been like welded on. They are, it's like old steel drums cut in half and put round it to... Yeah, that would be the concrete pillar. Mm. So they can get bashed when they're stuck in there and round them and it. I bet it. I bet it got bashed and they've put that round to stop it happening again. Been bashed, didn't it? Yeah, they've been... It's cracked, you know, so whoever crane driver will not want right here. <laughs> no! Yeah, yeah, and that's not enough. That's that hasn't been enough, and they've had to clad them in steel. If you whack, if they've maybe whacked it with a forklift truck, probably. Yeah. That'd take a lump out of it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Take a lump out of anything being whacked with a fork truck. Hmm. Yeah, but that test car down there, that is really good. That is absolutely just good. there. Yeah, I really like that. Because I remember... Which TV channel channel was it that used that? Was it Channel 4? Or was it the BBC that used... BBC, BBC test card. They used to, every night, about 11 o'clock, the BBC would actually stop, um, they'd play the national anthem, and then it'd just go beep, and the test card would come on. And the test card was designed... When tellies first came out, the colour, the colour tellies... Um, you could adjust the, the concentration of the, the guns by the, the, this um, uh, Gauss magnets at the back and you could adjust the sensitivity of them and you could converge the colours and you could use the test card to uh, focus your picture on your cathode ray TV screen. Wow, yeah. I do remember CRT TVs. Um, it's only people that are older than about 15 will remember CRT tellies, but for the uh, younger viewers... Just, I yeah, want, he's only just over 15, but yeah, for the younger viewers, TVs used to have a big, like, ray tube in the back of them. Um, and yeah, they weren't as good as they are now. Not these flat screen ones. Much better now. Uh, but yeah, they used to have to you manually tune the colours in. So it wasn't all automatic, like uh, new stuff. Nice. The locker room we're just going to check out. This one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, turn right. There's one of the old lockers there. Uh. That's quite big. Yeah, the locker room's like a lean to. It's all trash, they're all dangerous, so I ain't gonna bother with that. There's too many things to get caught on. And the roof's falling in. If there's exploring and then there's places just a bit dangerous, so I don't bother. You just end up getting covered in mess and snagged on stuff. Hey explorers, we're back outside and uh, we're just moving up to the next building now. What's in there? Yeah, Rover 75, Maestro. Well that concludes this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe for free and join me for more content every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm. Looking over my shoulder, looking back at your door. Looking